this is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading here on the final day of Mobile World Congress. We're here with Rajesh Mishra. He is the president, CTO, and co-founder of Parallel Wireless. Welcome, Rajesh. Thank you. Nice to be here with you. And what industry trends are driving your business? Yeah, actually, it's the same trend. What we always did, we always believed in a total cost of ownership-centric approaches not the buzzword-centric approaches. Part of the trends are actually the buzzwords, right? Everybody is talking 5G, 5G is old news now, 6G, 7G, whatever, right? So we believed in the total cost of ownership-centric approaches. So from day one, where whenever the trend didn't make sense to us because it was actually adding more cost of ownership versus reducing, for example, the cloud RAM, it was a very hot topic you know, a few years ago. Everybody wanted to say CRAM, and we never believed in that, to be honest. We believed that the virtual RAN is the right way to go, not the cloud RAN. You know, there are many, many parts of the world where you can't afford the dark fiber and centralize the thing. When the silicon is cheap, you want to put the silicon out there on every radio versus trying to centralize in a common place, right? So we believed in a virtual RAN solution, not a cloud RAN solution from day one. And again, because it was reducing the cost of ownership. So we have been uh, driving down the total cost of ownership uh, from the very beginning by looking at not only the radio, looking into the core, looking into the transport, trying to provide a total package where we are reducing a total cost of ownership, not just doing a single puzzle piece, but solving the full puzzle for the operators. Okay, so what, what, what role is Parallel Wireless playing in these trends? So what we have been doing is, we have been doing a few things. One is a virtual RAM. Our HetNet gateway has been actually the industry's first uh, architecture where a virtual RAM is not only virtualizing the 4G, it's also virtualizing the 3G and the 2G and the Wi-Fi, right? So that's actually what now is a 5G architecture. So we've been actually leading the industry in terms of uh, saying, no, there's a different way of doing things. There's a way you can reduce the total cost of ownership. Our radio is what you're looking at. These are the industries leading, they're the smallest, most power efficient in the world, right? And we've been doing it for, for quite some time. That's really what drives down the total cost of ownership when you consume less power, put less weight on the tower, versus just saying that, hey, I just do the software, it's somebody else's problem, right? So that, that's really the very um, big difference with parallel wireless compared to others. So we've been driving the innovation on the hardware side, as well as the software side, as well as the network architecture side. And again, the radio, transport, as well as the core. Okay, so you, got, you guys working on uh, any interesting new technologies, products, and partnerships currently? Yeah, so we actually have been working with uh, some of the like uh, industry bodies, uh, like uh, Facebook's uh, telecom infrastructure project. So uh, we actually have been the, I would say, the leader in Open RAN. There have been, I would say, way too many announcements on Open RAN in this. We are the only one. I'm proud to say we are deploying it, right? Okay, so what's the what's the business value of what you're doing? Business-wise, uh, you know, we are deployed in, I would say, most of the global operator groups. Um, and the way they look at it is they, again, go back to the total cost of ownership. You know, we are reducing the total cost of ownership by a major factor, you know, more than 50%, right? It's actually much more than 50%. What differentiates you from your competitors? I think, again, uh, if you step back, right, we are the only ones who virtualize 2G, 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi. And we have already done the 5G and, uh, you know, last year. And um, you'll see, you'll hear more about 5G in coming weeks, uh, which uh, I'll leave it at that. We don't want to pre-announce it, okay. something. Virtualization should not differentiate Gs. It should be 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, everything, right? So that's one thing. The second thing is we are the only ones who look at the total cost of ownership that includes the transport. We are very innovative mesh backhaul. The only reason we took on the backhaul was to lower the cost of ownership because the transport also plays a big part of the cost into the network deployment. And then last but not least is actually our core-based orchestration, what we call is a HetNet gateway. That's the brain behind the deployment. What we do with the HetNet gateway is allow these radios, whether they are our radios or somebody else's radios, whether they are macro cells or the femto cells, to be placed and deployed seamlessly, touch, you know, basically zero touch deployment. We make that possible, you know. Our HetNet gateway actually does such a good job that these base stations actually can move around in a car or 
you know, as example is our public safety portfolio, where these base stations are actually in a police car, fire trucks, or ambulances, which are very popular. We are deploying in several major countries at a mass scale, right? So again, that's really what we believe in, trying to reduce the cost of ownership, optimize the network in real time, so that whether they're on autopilot driving, in the car, or you know, some technicians are deploying them. You don't need to, you know, spend more money, you know, doing site planning, etc. And then, last but not least, just uh, you know, trying to take care of the full network from end-to-end -end visibility perspective. This is where our OSS BSS comes in, and this is, uh, I would say, a biggest differentiator. Majority of our competition, they actually look at the silo. And to be honest, they actually add more cost. You know, the big guys are the big guys. They, you know, if they were cheaper, you know, we wouldn't have dead spots everywhere, right? And the new players are only looking at a silo. They actually introduce more cost into the network than, you know, reduce it. You know, and, and again, uh, technology is not everything. You have to look at a bigger picture. So we are, I believe we are the only one. We have a practical approach to the solution. We look at the bigger picture. Great. All right. This is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading coming to you from Mobile World Congress with Rajesh Mishra from Parallel Wireless. And that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you.